Medication mistakes can be dangerous, even deadly. Tonight, the Target 12 investigators take a hard look at how often mistakes are happening and what's being done to protect you and your family. Eyewitness News reporter Audrey DeRosiers has this Target 12 investigation. Well, according to the National Board of Pharmacy, thousands of people nationwide die each year because of medication mistakes. We spent months obtaining records that show several Rhode Island pharmacies have been disciplined for actions that could have compromised the public safety. You trust that that pill bottle in your hand is going to cure your ills, not cause you harm. Venus Tavares of Cranston thought so until she found out her pharmacist made two dangerous mistakes with her prescriptions. They switched mine with my three-year-old, and then the next time I went back, I got a totally different person. Luckily, Tavares caught the mistake in time. And she's not alone. In 2002, there were 35 medication dispensing errors reported to the board. In 2006, there were just six. That doesn't mean that I'm going to tell you that there's fewer dispensing errors. We just don't have the number of reports coming in. In fact, Tavares told us she never reported the mistake to the Department of Health, and the pharmacy is not required to report the mix-up either. After digging through disciplinary records, we found only seven pharmacists were formally disciplined by the board for dispensing errors in the last five years. Jack Hudson of the Rhode Island Pharmacists Association. We look at the dispensing error issue uh, more from a standpoint of not a disciplinary, uh, from a dis disciplinary perspective, but more on how we can improve the system. Increase in automation, both at the um, pharmacy level in institutional settings as well as um, retail settings, um, I think that that has contributed to fewer errors. And Cordy says you can do your part. You should check the prescription labels before you leave the store, and if there is an error, report it to the Department of Health. Now, our Target 12 investigation also uncovered a number of pharmacy workers who were addicted to the very prescriptions they're supposed to be handing out. One pharmacist actually passing out behind the counter. We'll have much more on that investigation coming up new on Eyewitness News at 11. With the Target 12 investigators, Audrey DeRosiers, Eyewitness News.